Ooh, look who we have next. Direct from Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. The Tadpole Triplet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Not so far off, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn, the props today. Never, you know, the thing. Some people did. <laughs> Y'all get off the gene and the comedy code one time. Hey. Kamala Harris. <laughs> Just what America needs. I mean needs. I read that all wrong. <laughs> so much pandering going on around here that Kamala Harris just signed the death row records. <laughs> That's a lie, but speaking of death row records, let's take a peek at hers. <laughs> oh boy. Y'all hear Biden was mad at old 45? Mad as hell. Said something about suckers and losers. He's like, my son wasn't no sucker. My son wasn't no loser. And then he clarified, we're not talking about Hunter. <laughs> We're talking about the other one, you know, the name. Look at old Lyndon B. Biden out here. The Great Society, more like the Great Con Job. Y'all hear old, old Joe Biden say he's going to make Beto work in charge of your Second Amendment rights. Oh boy. Right? If a soy latte wore skinny jeans, you'd have Beto work. How the fuck is he going to be in charge of anything? Imagine celebrating being 93% nonviolent while protesting against something that's more than 99% nonviolent. Yeah, another participation trophy. Yeah. You know how to tell if a virus is really deadly? The 152nd most important person will be giving the speeches. Right? The 150 are down in the bunker and 151's at the door. Please, guys, it's just one more. Let me in. Let me do some shit going on out here that's real. But nope, they're walking around while we're inside the house. It's fucking turn life into calculus when it's pluses and minuses. Shit's crazy. Y'all hear Obama? Y'all hear Obama? He said Biden nailed this decision. And I'm all like, no duh. I guess Kamala really was riding Biden. You want to hear the failed Biden and Kamala Harris pro, uh, 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 <laughs> I would like to hear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sniff and frisk, 2020. That one didn't make it. <laughs> Two-Face Joe and the new face hoe. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's finished more black men than she's put away. Whoa. They say five out of six teachers will vote Democrat. And those who can do will vote the other way. <laughs> These are just fucking jokes, you cry babies. <laughs> Is Trevor Noah just Don Lemon trying to tell mediocre jokes? <laughs> oh, Don Lemon said Michelle Obama's better looking than Melania Trump. Who cares? It's subjective. <laughs> and he's a Democrat. He's gay. <laughs> Obviously more attractive to dudes. That's not nice. Don't say that. I'm just joking. I don't fucking care. I got none fucks. None fucks. They're kind of like nunchucks, but they yeah, 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 with all the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> For 19.99 at a five-minute conversation with me, you can have none fucks too. <laughs> Michelle Obama said 2016 was like a slap in the face. It looks like 2020 might be some Ike Turner shit. She's looking ugly out there. 96% of everything we don't hear about, they want to keep us divided about 4%. Nobody likes math though, right? 
They're all making money off of us arguing. That's all that's happening. To show you my impersonation, two politicians debating a ham sandwich. <laughs> Turkey's better. <laughs> yeah, but we were talking about ham sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Why has it got to be American cheese? Swiss is better. The Swiss is like, hey, just leave us out of this. <laughs> Cut off the crust, I don't want any borders. <laughs> That's my impersonation of two politicians debating a ham sandwich. I think all of this bullshit going on right now is my fault. It's all my fault. Gene, I fucked up. I fucked up. I voted for the guy who's responsible for all of this shit. All of this shit. Ross Perot. <laughs> Can I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> what I mean was, is if there's no Ross Perot, there'd be no Bill Clinton. If there's no Bill Clinton, there'd be no shrillery. Right? No shrillery, Hollywood might not feel so bold and parading their depravities. You know what I mean? No shrillery, no Obama, no Obama, no Trump. Everybody's happy. Fucking Ross Perot, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all hear Tom Hanks left America. Yep. Move to Greece. I guess he just felt like running. <laughs> <laughs> and running. From the accusations that I've heard since 2009, it broke my heart. <laughs> I moved to LA because I thought I was going to be the next Tom Hanks. I'm so glad I turned out nothing like him. <laughs> Y'all think Disney should get in the porn game? <laughs> right? I think they call it Disney. <laughs> I mean, they might as well, they're already in the pedophile game. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe Hollywood should go back to making silent films. Or maybe some good art. And leave the politics and social media and reality TV. This generation expects so little that they just remake everything. And we're like, oh, that's good. Like it was the last nine times we made the same fucking thing. <laughs> I'm going to say, listen, Hollywood, you can try to touch my wiener, but you'll never finish me off. <laughs> <laughs> Who y'all think is going to win in November? Trump or Joe, uh, what is it? Yes, he His words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I tell you what I've been doing for six months and a half. Been working on a new company. I started a new company. Oh yeah? Yep, that's right. It's a social media distancing greetings company. We haven't worked out all the logistics yet. It's because I missed y'all. I missed y'all so much. I was like, how am I gonna say what's up to my boys and my homegirls? And some new folk, I ain't met y'all yet. How you doing? Been working on a new company. It's my passion. It's like my passion, totally. I'm going to show y'all right here. Hold up, right here. So you can get it right now. For $9.99 if you're from New Jersey. Otherwise, it's $79.99. A social, you can be like, hey, friend, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a little while. What's up? Give a little fist bump. Give a little fist bump. What's good? How you doing? You want a tattoo? That way you're six feet apart. You can still say, hey, I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> $5 extra, you can get some extra attachments. We got we got the old thumbs up. You can get it. <laughs> it might be a hang loose, I don't know, still working out logistics. We got if you're a handshake fellow, we can do the handshake. $7.99. $7.99. Throw that in. Do the handshake. This one here is if you're from New Jersey and you're on the parkway, you'd be like, hey, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you're a rock and roll, you'd be like, rock on! I don't care, dude. I got, I got all kinds of baby limbs. You know? Yeah, I got a guy. He sells them on the back of a Planned Parenthood truck. <laughs> don't throw away the baby heads. Don't throw them away. You don't want to get rid of these. You save them. You save them. You know, as a soup bowl at a Chrissy Teigen party. You just say, right? You save them. Oh, and here's another thing. If you want extra protection, you can uh -huh. get these right here. 14 times more effective than your stupid mask. But I know they don't feel the same, right? <laughs> Neither does a coat hanger to your cranium. 
<laughs> if you act now, I'm almost done, Gene, I'm sorry. We'll throw in a built-in sneeze guard. Hold on. Elbow's there. I challenge you. <laughs> and then you can still go back to loving your friends with a little bitty fist bump. <laughs> I love y'all. I love you, Gene. Thank you so much. Oh my God.